And so we're gonna go back to today to a, it's a cultural thing, which I really really like the name. <laughs> a cultural thing. <clears throat> and today we're gonna talk about itadakimasu. Right. Okay. So when do you use itadakimasu? Itadakimasu is used before a meal. Um, I guess in a, a sense, kind of like thank you for the food. Yes. That before I'm the about meal, right? to eat. Yes, because if I'm not mistaken. Itadakimasu is you're saying it to the person who grew the food, if I'm not mistaken. And grew after, the food? Yeah, the person who grew the food. And then after you finish eating, you say, fuck, what do you say? <laughs> <laughs> huh? oh, Gochiso so, sama deshita. Right. Gochi, so after the meal, you would say, Gochiso sama deshita, right? And yeah. that's to the cook, the person who prepared mm. the meal. That's mm. the way I understood it as. Um, I mean, it's also used just at home. Or you know, like a ramen shop, or just any time before you eat. Yeah, yeah. You can even I, I've seen people just say it to themselves. It's just kind of like a blessing before eating. So now, people always ask me how how do you use it, right? Mm -hmm. And what is your response when people ask you? Um, well, I mean, like in English or in Japanese or in English. When they say, "Oh, how do you oh. say itadakimasu in English?" What For do you example, say? Um, I've had students ask me like how to translate itadakimasu and. Once again, it's just kind of, kind of like saying grace. Yes. And but you don't say. But say grace. And yeah, I eat, mean, right? Exactly. Yes, thank you. So say, mean, just... say grace is the prayer that you would use before you eat a meal. Hmm. And what I say to my students is, <clears throat> since especially when we come from America, right. America is very large, and America is made up of people of different religions. So we all have a different prayer if you pray at all. Right. So you can't, we don't have, because this, in my opinion, would be like how you say grace or a prayer. And mm. since <clears throat> everybody comes from a different place, everybody says something differently. Sure. Did, are you uh, any religious sect or form or Christ um, Christian Catholic? Well, yeah, like my family, I come from like a Christian background. And so a lot of times for holidays, like my family would, you know, hold hands and like we'd say a prayer or grace during those times. Yeah, but that was just, just my particular family. Do you say it before every meal or just a special time? Um, usually in my family, it was just for a special occasion. Mm. See, I grew up in Catholic school okay. and we would say it before every meal. Mm. So if you had a meal as a class, you would make the sign of the cross and you would say grace. Mm. And I can't really remember it right now, so I try <laughs> to remember it, but <clears throat> it wasn't too long, but it was okay. um, just saying thank you for the food. Mm -hmm. So there is no direct translation for right. itadakimasu. It really depends on what religion you come from sure. or the the way your household was, right? Yeah, it kind of depends on the person. What kind of person you are, because America is a really big place. And Very I, diverse. I always tell my students, in one building in New York, you'll find three or four different religions, skin color, like everybody's a different shade, and so we can't generalize one group. So we don't have a itadakimasu, at least where we come from. Sure, yeah. I, I don't. I don't. <laughs> exactly. All right, guys. Well, take it easy, and I hope to see you in the next video. Peace. <laughs>